Welcome to a quick under five minute tour of Astro City Arcade in South End on Sea in Essex. It's a free to play arcade, so you pay six pounds to enter and play as much as you like. This is the first room, as soon as you get in there, there's some cool stuff, but there was a one up arcade cab which sent alarm bells. But there was enough here to see some shooters, some pinballs, 18 wheeler, crazy taxi in this first room. Even a big hammer game, you know, like at the carnivals um, and some of the punch machines. So it was pretty cool as soon as we walked in, to be fair. There was enough there to know I was going to have a good time. Walked into the second room. It is absolutely huge. House of the Dead, Ghost Recon. There were some 2P machines. Again, some more pinball. I could see in the back corner behind that dance machine. Loads of retro cabs, sit-down cabs all along the back wall. Track and field was there. Bomb Jack. Sonic, Street Fighter, there was some cool stuff. There's a pool table, which is pretty cool if you pay £6. Uh, Need for Speed Underground, Racing Cab, Time Crisis 2, Daytona USA. I was like, yes, I'm in my element here. Some more pinball, some bits for the kids. Uh, some fruities there, big up Alex who star gamer. He would have been all over that like a rash. Another pool table, then over here, yeah, there's some more kiddie amusements. Um, there was some tables at the back. I think they you know, float financially. Heavily on the um, kids' parties and entertainment because it's um, it's advertised quite a bit on the website. So it's a nice mix for everyone here. We had Rambo in the corner. We had uh, Mario Kart 2. There was a bar that sold some snacks. However, they did not sell any alcohol. So it's disappointing not to have a beer and game. They really missed the trick there. So over back to the retro wall, we can see Sonic. Some of the sort of all-in-one cab street fighter there. Track and field. Can't believe there was no Hypersports 84, my favourite game. And I went to play Daytona USA with the back of Blackpool buzzing for that, but the game did not work. However, Guitar Hero Arcade in the corner, I absolutely loved that. One of my favourites in that arcade. We played Panic Museum. I've never played it before. It's a shooter. Probably won't play it again. Aliens is really cool, but I don't think the sound or the gun recall worked um, as well as it should have. A couple of the guns, especially on Rambo, um, only one of those guns actually had the uh, recoil action. So we played two players, so one of us had a good time. The other one didn't. But I think it's designed to go full bootleg John mode uh, and hold the guns both Rambo style. So Mario Kart 2. This played really smooth on expert mode at 150cc. Had a great time. And me and uh, Mrs. Marathon Gaming loved Ghost Squad. I think Retro Ed mentioned this to me. You're supposed to save hostages as SWAT team but we basically killed all the hostages we, we didn't play the game too good but my favorite had to be Need for Speed Underground I, I don't think I've played this before um, I did crash out while trying to film one hand you'll see in a second so I played it again it took me two goes to realize that you could change the music and the music is epic in this game it really really makes it it's a really really good solid racer and I didn't even know you could use NOS either. That's a really, really good game and probably my favourite in Astro City. So on the way out, I had to play a little bit of uh, Wonder Boy, one of my favourite games. Really loved that, especially in the game gear. And the shooters next to it in the cab, they had things like, um, like Scramble the Shooter. But the one thing that was disappointing and let me down was I got caught short. Yeah, I'd said it. I had to go in the toilet. One was out of order. This one had no lock on the door. And what are you going to do? The door was open, but if you got to go, you got to go. And I am the hedgehog. And today, with this. <laughs>